Hey there, Andrew, C1D Paintball. This footage shot at Warzone Paintball in Rico. And uh, we've got the return of players. We got Charlie, one of one of the original C1D guys. There was like four of us that kind of grouped together at first and he joined soon after that. But he's been injured for basically a year, a little over that actually. But he's back, and also kind of back, we got Rob and Norm. These are two uh, friends, they're actually work colleagues as well. They've played paintball in the past, but now they've do do dove in, dove into that pool. I was gonna say divin in, dive in. They, they went out, they bought the gear, they've committed to making this uh, their sport. They're gonna be joining us, uh, Connor's there as well. Now there were two groups uh, at the field this day, but one was playing low impact. So the five of us said, you know what? We're gonna split into two teams. Uh, you know, we're gonna make sure Charlie's leg is up to it after that injury, by the way, it was. You don't have to worry about Charlie, great player. Uh, but for Norm and Rob, I mean, they were very open about talking about, you know, uh, asking questions about the field. And we sat there thinking the best way to do this is to, you know, hey, let's go out. Uh, with the small ultimate squad and we'll be able to kind of you know, th they'll get a better idea of the fields um, When they're not so cluttered up and such so we're gonna do that now something else that uh, not returning, but is new uh, Tip X So uh, I got a tip X for Connor. I'll probably use it from time to time. He's gonna be trying it out in this first game and uh, Connor likes to run the shield a lot of you know that if you've seen the videos now he's gonna have a proper sidearm for that. Now this first game is being played at town. Uh, I'm gonna play with Rob and Norm. Uh, Connor is going to play with uh, with Charlie. Now Connor and Charlie, by far and away the best players on the field. Charlie is getting back into it. Uh, Connor's only got 40 shots maximum out of all the mags he has. Obviously, the Tip X, a great marker. Doesn't have the range like the TMC or other paintball markers do. So there's a little bit of learning process that helps level that out a bit. Of course, I got a big mouth, so working with the new guys, uh, I theoretically should help show them around uh, where to go, what to do, what not to do. I, I probably by telling them what not to do and for them watching me, giving an example of what not to do. Okay, we're spawning here. My team with Rob and Norm. Connor spawns with Charlie here. Let's play the game. Down. Just the first floor for now, yeah. Oh yeah, if it was two floors, I, I would just, I would have, I, I like doing sc screwy things sometimes. I'd have fun and just tell us to sit upstairs and um, <laughs> I don't feel like I have much range with this, so I kind of want to run over to their side right away. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. I'm going to go to the, the left side. Sure, okay. yeah. Ready! Where are you guys going to go? I'll cover left. You gonna start there? You wanna take the point there? You wanna take the point on the right? Now Connor's already at the corner of the gray container at the uh, northwest part of the field. Uh, I figure there's a good chance he's gonna run in. So I'm not gonna run over there because I'm not gonna win a foot race against this guy. So I'm not sure if he's there, but he is there. And I, if you would have asked me at the time, you know, I said, yeah, he's probably somewhere around there. Hopefully Connor is not running at me. You probably heard me kind of whisper, I hope Connor isn't running at me. Well, he's not running at me, but he's one step away from it. If we look at uh, the two cameras here, on Connor's camera, well, Connor's behind this, this is the gray, uh, the gray area here, the gray uh, container. Uh, you see this drum in his uh, camera? Well, that's the drum in my camera here. So he's right there. I don't know exactly where he is. I'm pretty sure he would have crossed the road, but I'm gonna take the choice of cutting across the front of the container and kind of going around it instead of behind it which uh, when you watch this, uh, knowing where Connor is, uh, so far is the right thing to do. So I have my 
my arm out and I'm motioning because um, just a couple seconds before I'll take this screenshot, uh, Rob is to my right. So I'm kind of pointing, you know, that I'm kind of going in that direction ahead of me here. Now, uh, Connor is still waiting. Uh, he's angled off a little bit more towards the middle of the field, but he's got his, uh, his ears wide open trying to hear what's going on as a, a signal. Not many shots going on here, so he is ready to go. Now, I'm actually going to move. I want to get along, uh, along the north part of the map, but of course I cut the gray corner, the gray container, so I'm gonna come through here and see what I can do. Now on the map, it looks like there's, there's two containers that are intersecting, they are, but uh, this one's elevated, so you can actually go underneath. You saw when Connor went across, he went underneath it, he played at the field, you know about this. So if you're putting two and two together right now, if I'm going over to that spot and Connor's waiting for something and he's waiting to spring, uh, I think you know what might happen or what will happen, I guess is the better word. So Connor gets an easy kill. Thankfully, he freezes me out. I mean, he's got that marker he hasn't used before. Uh, so he could have, you know, one tap me to give it a test here, but man of honor. So he takes me out that way. Uh, so Connor uses speed and a little bit of patience to get the first kill and even things out at 2v2. But remember, Rob and Norm, they're new on this field. They played some paintball. It's been a while ago. They themselves call themselves noobs. At the very, I, I want to give them credit because they did know how to play. They showed us that during the day. Just a little rust there. They got to learn a little things, little ins and outs uh, about their markers. And of course, about the field, which if you never played at a field, how are you supposed to learn it? They are currently learning, but a two on two against them. Well, that's obviously in the favor of uh, Connor and Charlie. Connor has Rob lined up here. Um, Rob is in a good spot in the middle of the field, but as mentioned a couple times, he doesn't know the field that well. He doesn't know he could be flanked around. Now Rob is looking in the area where I called that I was hit. Smart player. I got hit. Somebody, some enemy player is going to be around that area, but he doesn't know he's being kind of. He's being. He's already been flanked. Now this is an easy shot for Connor if he's got his uh, TMC, even if he has his old Cronus. Uh, the Tipex, once again, a great marker, but hasn't got great range. So, uh, as he lines up what's normally an easy shot, uh, he's gonna finally be able to see, how does this thing work, especially at this range? Things in action as shit. I've been knocked out 30 seconds into the first game. And we got a couple of new players to the field, somewhat experienced, but now on their own with Connor. And, uh, hey Rob, I would have had you there if I didn't have this pistol. So since I'm out of the game and I'm just standing in the area, I decide to contribute. I take out my iPhone and I take a little uh, nice footage. The sound is so clear on my iPhone. Uh, Connor makes kind of loosen up the crowd knot, you know, mentions to Rob. Hey Rob, I would have got you had I not had the pistol. Robbie would have gotten you. He's ruthless. Sometimes I have to lock the door to my bedroom at night because, you know, I don't know what's going down there in his room. Okay, so it's not that bad. Just trying my dad jokes here. Uh, yeah, Connor's getting used to that uh, marker. And, and um, the big thing here, uh, not only is it getting used to the range of the tip X, but Connor he likes to run with his TMC. Here's the runs a hopper. And when he does run mags, which he does from time to time, you know, he's usually got at least four mags on him with 19 shots each. He has 40 shots maximum in this game. And I think I mentioned that before. And he's already used an entire mag in that first, um, 
in that first endeavor. So as much as you know, people are returning in this game, the theme of it, uh, I wanna, I wanna underline that he's learning too. And I just want to point out Charlie's here. He's got a good, uh, good lay of the land. He sees mid, north, and south uh, side of the enemy side of the field. Uh, although Connor does uh, already have Rob engaged in the north, so wherever Norm is, Charlie should be able to pin him down, provided Norm doesn't get a cheeky angle, of course, and try to take Charlie out. Alright, we gotta pay attention here. Charlie gets taken out. He's the one that just called hit. Rob took him out. Rob is gonna retreat a bit to uh, backwards, uh, more towards the west side of the field. Connor, where he's waiting here, is on the west side of the field. Pay attention, things happen quickly. Oh, So with Rob retreating back, smart move to make by the way, because when you make a shot, your position's given away. Generally a smart move, but Connor has him lined up. Connor fires one shot. This one's at a good range. It will connect. It was more of like a reflex kind of thing, but uh, he does make the shot. And as he makes it, he did kind of, he just, he took off for better ground. And uh, yeah, so a uh, fast little encounter. And Connor now finds himself in the top of the field, and it is a 1v1. So Connor knows the field uh, compared to um, Norm, who's played on it for about two minutes now. Let's use the term infinitely better. But here's the, so he knows like all the nooks and crannies, the, the general uh, do's and don'ts, the lines of sight. But here's the thing about Norm, when, or when you play any new player on a field, whether they're experienced or even just brand new, they're gonna go to places, or they can go to places that they shouldn't, that you don't expect, that don't make sense. So if I'm an experienced player and I'm like, I'm like at the top of the field like Connor is, I know where, well, he's probably not here and here. It's probably around this area. But with a new player, you don't know. It may be a very bad spot the new player goes in, where, you know, it's normally easy to get them. But if you know somebody's normally not there, you won't be focused. I hope this makes sense. But anyway, what's going to happen here is in this area here, that's where Norm has migrated to. Uh, kind of the same area, the corner of the gray container where Connor went to the start of the game. So, uh, yeah, 1v1, so safe to say, looks like we're going to have a final showdown here. So, as I mentioned before, Norm is behind the gray container. Uh, where Connor was at the beginning of the game. Now in this shot, you can see Norm is retreating uh, to Connor's left for better cover. Here's a ball that Connor shot out of the tip X. Connor's gonna fire a few shots. It's just at the edge of his range. So he's gonna fire, again, multiple shots. Let's see if any of them hit. So the shots by Connor with the tip X on the retreating Norm even with, with his TMC, he probably had a much better chance of hitting Norm, but it wasn't an easy shot, but the tip X does not connect, so Connor finds himself at the top of the hill. Uh, Norm knows that Connor's right on his tail. Connor's got an empty mag, he's got to change quickly, and he's kind of exposed a bit. Hit! Hit! I heard I didn't hit!
Right hmm? What was that? It right after us. Yeah, I mean, I'm reloading, so it's like... I'm all out, I used all my shots. So Norm comes around the corner and Connor still hasn't reloaded. He immediately calls hit, the game is over. A self in, in, inflicted freeze there, which is the right thing to do in this situation. So yeah, uh, the team of myself, Rob and Norm win the game, but Charlie and Connor would have a pretty good day overall here. So the first game for the new guys, they call themselves noobs, not really noobs generally, but noobs to the field, noobs to full-time paintball. Uh, Charlie, uh, his leg holds up, he's not injured for at least one game. Connor uses the tip X, he gets one kill with it, but uh, he knows it's different from that TMC, and as usual, uh, well not all the time, but it's not unusual, I was the first one out, had a good view of things. That's it for this one, hope you enjoyed it. There'll be more, there's always more, provided I get up, you know. If I don't get up one day, the videos are going to stop. Uh, have a good one, remember, at the end of the day, it's just a game. Game over.